Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. While I gear up to do my first full set tutorial, I'd like to show you a little technique from the Pastel Dreams set. For this design you'll need white gel polish and also a selection of pastel polishes. You can choose any colours you like, just as long as they complement each other and will blend well. You'll also need a white formation gel or hard gel and some silver leaf. So I'm just going to start with two coats of cured white gel polish. Once the second white coat is cured, you can come in with your pastel colors. Using one color at a time, paint sections of the nail and keep the polish fairly thick because it is going to spread. Keep each color in its own section and by that I mean don't make it too patchy because when it comes time to blend the colors, it could end up looking muddy and you won't get a nice definition between the colors. Once all the colours are down on the nail, take a small brush dipped in alcohol and start to blend the colours together. If you haven't blended with this technique before, you might have to play a little bit with the amount of alcohol you have on your brush and how you manipulate the brush over the colours. But again, you haven't cured any of this, so if you stuff it up, just wipe it off and start again. Because we've put a white background down, it doesn't really matter if some of the colours start to break up and you can see that white. It actually helps to lighten the design and break up the colours a bit. Don't worry if you're not getting a perfect gradient between the colours at this stage because when we top coat that will help to blend the colours and also giving it a matte finish helps to give it a blended effect as well. After I've cured the colours, I'm going to come in with some silver leaf and just place it randomly over the nail. You don't want to go too crazy with this, it's a subtle accent so just a few flecks in the middle, maybe some around the edges is fine. When you're happy with your silver leaf placement, you can top coat, which will help to blend those colours, and then come in with either a matte top coat, or you can buff the nail to a matte finish. The next step is to take your white formation gel or hard gel, and using a brush, dip the tip into the gel and pull the brush upwards so you get a string of gel hanging from the end of the brush. Then you want to lay that string down across the nail. I know it's hard to see in my filming, I'm sorry, but if you can imagine that string of gel hanging down and you're just slowly laying it across the nail in a straight line. It's a good idea to flash cure the gel between each line because that will stop the gel from running together and keep the lines nice and sharp. Another good reason for flash curing between each line is that if you make a mistake, you can just wipe that line off and the others will still be there. When you're happy with the placement of your lines, you can cure that hard gel for the full curing time. When it comes out, it will have a sticky layer on it, so you can wipe that away with some alcohol. I'm sure there are other ways you can think of using this technique in your work. As always, I'd love to see your creations, so please share them with me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I'll be back again soon, hopefully, with a full set tutorial.